1776, the United States wins their first GVG against the British. 1848, the United States triumphs in the U.S.-Mexican GVG. 1945, the United States defeats Nazi Germany in World GVG 2. 2014, the United States wins their final GVG against the British. It's the 4th of July, and in a special edition of Team World v World Bingo, we're honoring the manliest country in the multiverse with a very special edition of Team World v World Bingo, the American Scavenger. But first, let's take a look at week three. In week three, we had five winners, and their contributions were as follows. First, we had an enemy player with all conditions on him, completed by Count Smacula. Then, we had an enemy who had previously been laughing, dancing, or sitting, now dead, and this was submitted by Krabnarok. Next, we had a player frantically calling out incoming troops without giving any location information, submitted by Mubble. Then, we had an arrow card on the top floor of Stoma's Castle, submitted by Sparks. And finally, we had an enemy in cosplay, submitted by Endrangles. Also, a special shout-out to Bakir for donating to the prize pool last week. If you like Team World v. World Bingo and want to see even bigger and better prizes, please contact me in-game and donate to our prize pool. Now then, on to week four. I'm gonna call up my good friend Sergeant Gurthy to explain these to you. Alright, you yellow-bellied maggots, listen up. We ain't pussyfooting around this week. We're gonna find some real American pride in the special edition of Team World vs. World Bingo. Now here's what I want you to show me. Deal will receive exactly 1776 damage from a single attack. Get a screenshot of a water balloon bucket, guild keg, or Belcher's Bluff Station dropped in the middle of a fight. Show me a claimed objective with American colors flying on its flags. Get a screenshot of a red Team Zerg wiping while you have Team Colors enabled. Show me an enemy commander getting down by special ops, like a kill shot or a backstab. Find ten or more players dancing together. Show me a black human male leading a Zerg. Get me a screenshot of a big buff male Norn reviving a tiny female human or a Zura. Let me see a wonderful fireworks parade involving at least three players from each realm in the matchup. Show me eight different types of feasts laid out together. I want to see you, while dyed the colors of the American flag, stomping an enemy dyed the colors of a non-American flag. Damn commies! While you're at it, show me five or more players all dyed the same colors of the American flag. And before I forget, let me see an enemy guild with a non-English name getting wiped. We speak American here. Show me six or more Omega Siege Golems all attacking an objective together. Let me see a Pistol Pistol Thief fighting a Pistol Pistol Engineer. I want to see five or more Rangers with Eagle Pets all attacking the same target. Let me see a guild with the tag USA. I want to see a naked female Norn or human wielding a gigantic gun. Heck, we all want to see that. Show me a USA chant going on in map chat. Get a screenshot of ten or more players crowded around a bonfire booster. I want to see a guardian get down while he was using one of those book elites. Let me see a player wielding a sword being defeated by a player with a gun. I want to see that rowboat in the West Keep of Borderlands highly weaponized. Show me an enemy cosplaying a famous American character and make sure you include who it is. And finally, I want to see six or more players trying to stomp the same corpse. If you find any of these things during the course of the matchup, post the screenshots here along with your username. But we're going to get bigger on the prizes this week. I'm going to let my friend Deanie explain the rest to you. To celebrate the 4th of July, anybody who gets on the bingo board this week is going to receive a prize regardless of whether or not double bingo is called. 
We'll also have a special selection of prizes this week to celebrate the 4th of July, including things like the new water balloon kit, or the special American Die Pack. Of course, we'll also have our usual selection of gem store hats and things like that. But also, if you submit any of the challenges, even if somebody's already completed it before you, you'll be entered to win one of the major prizes as well. So, even if you don't get a bingo this week, you still have a chance at winning a major prize. Thanks again for participating. Hope you all have an excellent 4th of July weekend. Even if you're not an American, go out and celebrate with hot dogs, burgers, beer, you know, all those American-made products. Good luck, everybody, and have fun on the scavenger hunt.